So, the brain is boss, but it can't do it alone. It depends upon lots of microscopic cells called neurons, over 100 billion of them in fact, that let messages flow backwards and forwards between the brain and body. Each neuron has tiny branches that let it connect to other neurons. When you're learning things, electrical messages travel from one neuron to another, over and over. Eventually, the brain starts to create connections or pathways between the neurons, so things become easier and you can do them better and Creating better. Creating these neural pathways is how you learn and remember things. So, the more you use your brain to create these pathways, the more you will learn. Your brain is responsible for your feelings and emotions too. It's normal to feel all different kinds of emotions, happy, sad, worried or stressed. One of the things that we know for sure is that our emotions have a big impact on the way we learn. Feelings of stress or anxiety can make it very difficult for someone to learn. When you feel threatened or worried, your brain is programmed to trigger the release of chemicals such as adrenaline and cortisol into your body. These chemicals quickly alter the way you think, feel and behave, making it difficult to think clearly or take in new information. Scientists believe that we learn best when we are happy and relaxed. That is when our brain processes information most efficiently. There are other physical factors that can affect your brain's ability to concentrate and learn effectively. The brain requires water for creating neural pathways, so being dehydrated can mean that your thinking will be less effective. Not having enough water in your system can also lead to a rise in salt and increased blood pressure, which in turn can cause stress. The brain also needs the right balance of proteins, fats, vegetables, carbohydrates and sugars to work efficiently. So, maintaining a balanced and healthy diet is important for effective learning. If you have a diet that is too high in sugar and food additives, you will probably find it difficult to concentrate well, and it might even affect the way you behave. Other things can have an impact on your brain's ability to work efficiently. When you're tired or hungry, too hot or too cold, it's unlikely that you'll be able to concentrate effectively on learning. Sitting still for long periods of time can affect your ability to concentrate and study. It's good to take brain breaks where you do some physical movement or exercise. This will increase the oxygen in your bloodstream, which will help the neurons to fire. Many people believe that a person's intelligence is fixed and it is not possible to become smarter. In fact, our brains are constantly changing and creating new neural pathways. This means that everyone is capable of learning and becoming more intelligent. There's lots you can do to make sure that your brain is healthy by creating the best conditions for learning. Firstly, the more you use your brain, the more efficient it will become. Challenge yourself in your learning. Be ambitious. Set targets for yourself and make sure that you have an imaginative and an inquiring mind. Stimulate your brain in different ways. A combination of audio, visual and kinesthetic learning is often the best way to take in new information and learn new skills. Remember that your emotions play a big role in how well you learn. It's best to avoid studying or trying to learn new things when you're stressed or upset.